Oh, it's over. We demolished it. Pain Slayer, dude. We were at 2 million... 600,000 HP, that's a Badoo there. Okay, this is insane. Pixonic is making the Badir Titan the most durable robot or Titan we've ever seen in the game. And this is why, and then we'll jump into gameplay and we're gonna try to see how high we can get the durability right now. But let's start with this. Pixonic just announced that the Badir is getting a new legendary pilot when it is released and it has three different skills. This Toshiro Kurosawa pilot, okay? Toshiro's protection is the first skill. Remember, these Titan legendary pilots have three skills, built-in skills. Toshiro's protection. The duration of barrier field, which is the shield, is increased by five seconds. Do you know how insane that is? Five more seconds on an ability is crazy long. And when it's a shield, an absorber shield on a Titan, that is absurdly longer okay we haven't even gotten to the durability part then the second one Toshiro's resilience the durability of Badir is increased by 10% that's 10% more HP just from the legendary pilot okay that's not counting all the other like what 20 10 whatever it is eight more Titan pilot skills that will be loaded up Toshiro's resourcefulness maximum bonus durability from damage received to the shield is increased by 15% remember the Absorber Shield on the Badir, how it works is the more damage you fire at the Absorber Shield, the more durability the robot then like boosts itself up by. Does that make sense? So if you're shooting at the shield, you're actually making the robot stronger, okay? These three skills combined are freaking absurd. And that's not counting all the normal, I don't know, what are they called? Normal, non-legendary pilot skills that you're going to be able to load up and make the durability even crazier, plus boosters, plus modules, okay? And then, just for extra information, the Shenlu is also getting a pilot, Hugo Booker. The pilot skill increases the damage of all Shenlu weapons by 7% after each use of the ability. When the robot's ability ends, the bonus is reset. So, this pretty much sounds like when you hit the Shenlu ability, you get a 7% damage boost and you can get up to 21% more damage. So that's great. I guess the Shenlu is about to take over the game, huh? And these are, uh, what are they called? Noir Electric Weapons Special Edition that are going to be coming with the game, okay? Now, let's get to the gameplay and see what we can do here. All right, we're in Hangar, and we have the Badir loaded up. The highest durability Titan we've ever seen. So it has the Taunting, has the Barrier Field, base HP, 750,000. It... It's not even just the Absorber Shield. It has so much durability, and it's going to get more and more. And when you fire at that Absorber Shield, when the ability is done, it translates over to actual Titan durability. We're starting with the Energy Shotguns, and then we'll see. It might be tough to get our durability up with um, Brawling Weapons, because we're going to be taking more damage. But we might have to change it up. We might try, actually, the Homing Bullets. We're going double damage controllers, two Onslaught Reactors, and let's just try to steamroll enemies. Ophian with Tyrans, Fenrir, if we get to it with Punisher Avenger, the Blaze Dagon, because this is a test server, so we're using lots of ultimate weapons. Ultimate Calamity on the Curie, and the Ultimate Igniter Typhon. And just to show you guys, so, fastest way to charge up the Mothership looks like using Homing Bullets. So, we might have to use the Tumultuous and the Discordy weapons if this doesn't work, but let's give it a try. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I might just... What do they got back there? Uh, let's try to push left here. Let's hope nobody has a shield breaker. Let's hope nobody has a shield breaker. That might be... Bro. It's a pursuer. That might be the best part about the test server is that everybody can just use ultimate weapons. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? He's scared. He's scared. Okay, let's try to charge up our... our Badir Titan as fast as possible. Last stand. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Got him, okay. Got him, got him, got him. Okay, let's grab center beacon. Okay, Mel. Dude, do the firepower. That firepower. Ooh, they're firing, firing multiples. Last in triggered. Oh, my God. I'm locked down, I'm locked. I'm locked in. I'm locked in, locked down. This Pillsbury Doughboy is firing at me. Come on, come on, come on. Melt. Dude! Oh my, I don't think I've ever even used this build. This Dagon flame build. Let's grab this beacon. 
Okay, triple kill. There we go. Let's grab the beacon. Secure beacon. Okay, we're ditching. We're ditching. Okay, we have the durabilities extended up on her, or loaded up on her. Kill. Okay. I hit my mothership once with double durability extenders. We're already at one point, just under 1.2 million HP. This is without pilot skills. We don't have pilot skills or boosters on the tester. That means it's going to be even crazier. In that legendary pilot's giving it a 10%. And there's armor expert, durability, nonsense. Okay. Taunt. Double kill. Oh my, we just demolished him. Okay. Look how long this ability is already. They're giving this shield five seconds more duration. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, let's back up here. See, this is the one prop. Oh, with brawling weapons, we're going to take more damage to deal damage. That's why the certain weapons promote way too much camping. There you go, triple kill. Okay. We're gravity amped. We're gravity amped. Back up, Kimosabi. Back up. Rampage. Oh, Badir. He's got flames. He's got flames. Back out. Back out. We're getting taunted. Oh, he's putting a shield up. We gotta survive eight seconds here. Oh, eat some damage. Okay, he's not very good at aiming, so that's helping us out. Okay, shield up. Oh. Oh, it's over. We demolished him. Titan Slayer. Dude. Dude. That... These energy weapons are looking pretty good. I'm, his flame weapons were really not dealing a lot of damage. Was he missing us? Or... Okay, we're at 1.25. Our health is climbing a bit here, but we need a... We need a, We need a heal up here. We're at 1.3. Remember, this is the test server. This is not freaking... We don't even have pilot skills. Okay, this guy. Easy, easy. Rinsed him. Oh, those Eiffels. <sighs> the Badir Titan shield. Oh, we're getting... Oh! Damn, 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 damn. Okay, good thing he, his ability ended there. He EMP'd us right before... I was going to put up my shield. Oh, is it a Fulgur Tonin's build? Whoa, whoa. Rook, 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 Rook. Okay, we're... Come on, come on. Okay, reload, lock and load, lock and load. Three, two... One. Yup, yup, yup. Dude, destruction. Take him down. Take him down, teammate. Oh, Acho, Acho. <laughs> this is insane. We're in their spawn. Rampage. Dude. Okay, I gotta, I gotta calm down. This is... We have a four cap. They're still dropping in, though. Actually, I want to get to those Eiffels. There's two Eiffels here still. Don't run, don't run, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Oh, see the shot grouping on these. Ugh. The shot grouping on these weapons is mid. I gotta reload, reload, lock and load. What is that? Curie. Oh, we're getting, oh, freaking meatball sack. We're getting muted here. Oh, there's a Padir. Oh, there's a teammate. Oh, is that a game? Damn it. I want to take down those Eiffels. Okay. That was a lot of durability, but I think we need to put in the homing bullets to use range and charge up our mothership faster. 7 million damage, 3 beacons. We just walked through. We just ran over their team. Okay, I'm going to switch out the weapons on the uh, the Badir to go, uh, to go with homing bullets. And I think it might be a better way to load up our durability extenders, okay? And our mothership and our HP to get 8,000 million damage health Shenzhen again all right all right I'm not mad at it I am not mad at it okay let's go here this build is wildly fun to use <laughs> it's it might be the one of the stupidest builds in the game because of how difficult it is to acquire but it's it's pretty fun it's pretty it's 350 oh the Dagon shield, the Aegis shield and the Dagon is definitely still bugged on the test server, by the way. If you're wondering. Don't run, don't run. Melt him, melt him down. Melt him down. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, let's try to charge up our Badir as fast, as humanly or robotically as possible. Whoa. 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Locked. That's the unstable conduit. Locking him down. Oh, he suppressed us. What did... Oh, he still got him. We still got him. We still got him. What a pizza hat. Pizza hat? Pizza hut? Cheese wizard. Okay, Titan bar is like 60-70% charged. Locked him. Last stand. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Okay, triple kill, triple kill. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Rampage, there we go. Okay, let's go. Bidir is charged up. Bidir is charged up. Okay, let's hit our mothership charged first time. Wait, is it? Okay. This will get us to what? 1.139. 1. Okay. We need to make use of our range. And let's watch how fast this charges up our mothership here. Oh, he's got uh, healing weapons, it looks like. Okay, we're cool beans. We're cool beans. Cool beans. This guy. Come on, charge that mothership. Charge it, charge it, charge it. Okay, we have, we have more range than that guy down there, but... They're actually pushing our home right now. Get him, get him. Don't let him... Don't let him charge. Come on, man. We gotta charge these weapons up. Charge the weapons. There we go. Melt, 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 melt. There we go. Okay, mothership charge. Hit. Come on. I'm trying to get... They're hitting me with a mothership. Okay. Okay, we're up to 1.65. 1.65. You'll notice that our health is jumping even when we're not using our mothership. That's that's the uh, absorber shield converting damage into HP. So we're at 1.69. 1.7, we're climbing. We're climbing right now. Dude, bro, our health is still going up. Come on, charge, charge. We're at 1.8 million HP. This is a test server robot without pilot skills. 1.96. We're just under 2 million HP. Wait for that last stand. Okay, mothership again. We're at 2.1 million. This is freaking absurd. Okay, what is that? Is that an Eiffel back there? I can't really hit him. They're all hiding from this homing bullet build. Here we go, here we go. Okay, get the assist there. They have multiple Eiffels. Titan Slayer, okay. There we go. Is it an Ao Ming? That's definitely an Ao Ming. Fire away, fire away. No! Oh, teammate stole the kill with the Tonins. Damn it, teammate. We're on a mission here. Let's, we're trying to make it a three, 3 million HP. 3 million HP is the goal. That guy back there. Nope. Okay. This guy taunted him. Mothership. 2.25. 2.25 million HP. Dude, we're literally controlling this whole side of the map. This is wild. Oh, he doesn't have... Oh, what am I doing? He doesn't have as, as uh, much range as us. Oh, come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Melt him. Melt him. Melt him. Mothership again. We're at 2.4 million HP. Dude, this is insane. It's actually a close game, though, too. We have a, we have a beacon bar lead, but not big. Come on, buddy. Don't hide. Don't hide. Don't be afraid of the homing bullets. I know they're stupid overpowered, but we're on a mission here, bro. Kill. Okay, there we go. This guy's still alive? Come on. Damn it. Come on. Come on, man. 
Okay, let's move. They're all hiding. They got three guys left, and they're all hiding back there. We're at 2.387. We need 18% more here to get the... No, no, no. There we go, there we go. Okay, mothership, mothership. Back up. 2.5. 2.5 million HP. There we go. Okay, 54, 58% mothership. No, they're gonna run out of beacon bar. Damn it, no, they're gonna run out of beacon bar. Don't mech out. Don't mech out, don't mech out. Come on, come on, enemy team. I have faith in you. Don't die just yet. We're at 2.63. We were at 2,600,000 HP. That's a video there. Why is he dropping in a Titan so late, man? We should drop that in five minutes ago so we could have charged up. Oh, we just ran out of time. Okay, we only had two damage controllers. I could have run more damage controllers or armor units, and we definitely could have gotten to 3 million HP. What? Dude, end screen's not loading. The end screen isn't loading. Okay, thank you, test server. Another test server bug, I guess. Okay, there it is. I'm telling you. This thing can go to 3 million HP on the test server right now. We should have ran... I should have ran more armor modules or uh, damage controllers. And this is just in the test server. On the live server, the new pilot is OP. Combined with normal pilot skills, combined with modules and boosters, this will be the highest durability Titan. And I think people will easily get this thing to like 3.5 million, 4 million HP. Not to mention... It's good. You're going to start the game out with a Bidir Titan, and it's going to already be at 2 million for like the very first time. We've never had a Titan do that before, starting out games. There it is. McNugget sandwich. Peace out.